So I was brokering loans and then finally hit my stride and, and found the financial success I was looking for and realized that there wasn't uh, as much fulfillment from that as I had, had hoped. And then I would say around the time I turned 35, I remember listening to an interview, made me realize that I probably missed out on the boat and I maybe should think about doing it. So here I am, Private First Class Molina Cavalry Scout. My intention was to try to make my way into Special Forces selection. When I conveyed that to the recruiter, he said if I were to go into a combat MOS, it would be highly likely that I could transition easily from one to the other. So when I saw that infantry didn't have any slots open for airborne, this combat MOS did. It got me into airborne school and it got me into OSET. When I was young, I became a loan officer and just going over the years talking to people who were in the military, I was always very envious of them when they shared their stories about what it was like in such a tight-knit group of guys. And I missed that camaraderie that I had when I played team sports in high school. I don't know that it's really taught me anything new. It's mainly just reinforced things that I already have experienced in my personal life. But that's because I try things and I'm willing to fail. So this breaks it all down in a six month stretch where it's gonna put you in positions to fail. And that's good, you should fail. If you do not fail, you're not gonna do anything interesting in your life or do anything worthwhile. That's how you have to learn how to succeed. If you're a young man or woman who wants to do something with their life, if you have the right attitude, this place will mold you into that person that you want to be. And it will do so in an expedited manner. You're taking all of one of your wing, Melina. Well, I'd be lying if I said that I totally prepared something for right now. <laughs> if it's not any good, you're all to blame for not giving me more notice that you're going to make me do this right now. <laughs> They've already said do your best and go high speed, <laughs> finish the ruck, just, just keep moving. This is an allegory for life. There's going to be plenty of challenges that you will face, whether you stay in the military or not. There are going to be times where you're going to feel sorry for yourself. You're going to want to give up. It happens to all of us. And sometimes you will. The important thing is that you get back up, you dust yourself off, and you continue moving forward. There's always going to be a goal, whether it's marching 12 miles, putting food on the table for your family, making sure the mortgage gets paid, building a business, finishing a degree. There's going to be times where you will be tested. And if you're not being tested, you're doing something wrong. You should always be trying to reach a little bit farther than you know that you can. Just remember that when you're rucking along, just keep putting one foot in front of the other, and I'll see you at the finish line. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.